Welcome to update number four on the Lackawanna Cutoff. New Jersey Transit and Dover Service. Hi, I'm Chuck Walsh and I'm president of the North Jersey Rail Commuter Association. And we're back here at the Delaware River Viaduct. Didn't think we'd be back this soon, but there has been a major announcement, I'm gonna put that in quotes, by New Jersey Transit in regards to the start date of Andover service. In other words, the extension of rail service on the cutoff to Andover, New Jersey. Uh, New Jersey Transit is saying that that is slated now to begin in 2025. Now, I put that announcement word in quotes because the information actually came to a reporter who had called up New Jersey Transit and asked the question and New Jersey Transit provided to them. There was no press release and of what I would call a formal announcement that 2025 was the, the start date. So it begs the question, okay, well, is that negotiable? Uh, we have not seen any schedule. In other words, okay, we'll start with this, uh, we'll do this next, and then after that, uh, we know Roosevelt Tunnel will take two years. Uh, are we happy with 2025? Uh, that's not the first word that would come to mind, quite frankly. But if New Jersey Transit had said 2021 or 2022, I'd say we would be quite satisfied with that. 2025, however, this being 2019, that's another six years away. And if you add into that, the Hudson Farm issue was resolved last year, which was the hold up with the New Jersey DEP, the Department of Environmental Protection, uh, we're talking about basically between another six and a half to seven years from the time of the Hudson Farm resolution, which added to the six or seven years of the DEP, and now New Jersey Transit and DEP are competing to who delayed this project longer. Um, I, I don't know how else to characterize this. You know, in, in terms of looking at this project, it's difficult to rationalize why it's going to take so long. Once again, if they, New Jersey Transit came back and said, oh, we, we, we think we can do it faster, we can do it in 2022, okay. I, I, given that, once again, Roosevelt Tunnel is a two-year project, uh, uh, there are things with the Indiana Bat, which uh, restricts you to clearing. Okay, we'd give you that. That's another three years. Uh, that's not so bad. Uh, but now six years, uh, and we don't even know when in 2025 at this point. Is it January 2nd or is it December 31st? So I'd say that we are at this point, there's still more information to come. And that's where you, the audience, comes in. Our, our listenership, our viewership, uh, the people who are on our Facebook page, and the people who uh, are on the YouTube channel or share this video, which I encourage you to do, certainly. Uh, I have a little bit of homework assignment for you. And we're gonna show you the contact information for three people that we'd like you to contact. Doesn't have to be anything elaborate, it can be short and sweet, but I'm gonna ask three things of you, and I'll, I'll tell you the three people who I want you to contact. Um, but the three things I'm gonna want you to do is, if you contact, let's say by email or letter, however you wanna do it, or you call, uh, you be concise. Uh, you can express your frustration or your your anger or any of, any of those feelings. But I want you to be diplomatic and I'm asking that you, no cuss words. Those are the, those are the conditions I want you to, to adhere to. Now the three people I want you to contact, you don't have to contact all three, although you could, you can pick or choose. Uh, they will be State Senator, New Jersey State Senator Stephen Araujo. Congressman Josh Gottheimer. Now they both cover the Andover, their, their districts cover Andover. And thirdly, 
I'll, I'll give you the contact information for the head of New Jersey Transit, the executive director, Kevin Corbett. Once again, you don't have to say a whole lot, uh, but once again, be diplomatic. Uh, this, you now become, in a sense, the face of this effort. This is where you can chime in, you can have influence. I'm not going to tell you what to say. I might suggest maybe you want to bring up that this is uh, 2025 is a long time. Why can't you do it sooner? That kind of thing. Uh, but in terms of anything else, I would want it to be in your own words. We don't want to have a bunch of, let's say, emails or letters or however, what form it takes that are saying exactly the same thing. I, I want it to be in your own words, but once again, I'm, I'm beseeching you that you do it in a way that says so what you what you say in a positive but you, once again you can you can express your feelings but do so in a way that doesn't come across as a rant or um you know like crazy type of thing but you you can ex uh, feel free to express your anger i think there's there's definitely a reason to express your anger and so we have it so there we are this is there we are right now I thought it was important that I communicate this to the, the people who watch these videos. Uh, I don't have any further answers at this point. We will try to keep you up to date on any developments that take place. Uh, is, is 2025 a done deal? Could it be moved up? Well, we'll see. Uh, we'll see about that. If it could be done, we'll do it. But it, 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 it's going to take more than just Chuck Walsh doing videos to do that. It's going to mean that you folks are going to, to need to contribute in that sense. And once again, don't spend a lot of time doing this. So uh, stay tuned to as we would do our normal credits, but we're first going to give you, and we'll give you plenty of time, we'll give you screen time for the contact information for those three gentlemen. And look forward that you will hopefully have some influence on on this particular issue so thank you for tuning in uh, certainly look forward to seeing you on our next update or part 21 which is in progress also we're working on that uh, so until then um, stay tuned on the lackawanna cutoff <music>